I think reconciliation is about creating relationships and the best way to do that is to uh, expose kids to truthful history um, through literature and there's many books that that do that in a nice gentle way. We're trying to communicate that um, there's a history that we often weren't taught about and we're, we're actually trying to change that. We're trying to create positive relationships between the Indigenous community and the non-Indigenous community. I think that can be brought to light through literature and through exposure. When it comes to reconciliation, let's say when we're tackling a huge issue like reconciliation, may I suggest a book, and there are many out there, probably 20 books out there right now that are dealing with reconciliation. I think, why not start with a children's book? When We Were Alone by David A. Robertson and Julie Flett. This is a story about a little girl who's asking her, her mother, why? Why do you wear such beautiful bright colors? Why do you grow your hair long? And again, when it comes to reclaiming and celebrating the victory of being a residential school survivor and asking those big question, questions that we're all asking, like why don't we hear more indigenous languages? Why are indigenous peoples, you know, why is the rate of violent death so high? Why is the rate of incarceration so high? Um, with all the good news that's out there in the world with Indigenous literature in this time of reclaiming and celebration, there's also the, the hard questions of how did we get here? Why aren't we all fluent in our languages? Why do so many of us have to move to the city to get away from our communities? Things like that. I think a book like When We Were Alone is a great starting point to address reconciliation and what happened at residential school because we are all as Canadians in the shadows of residential schools and out of that shadow come all these new voices like david's like jennifer storms like negon sinclair i mean i could go on with 50 voices right now that are coming out of uh, smaller communities and really sharing the beauty of their families and their cultures so start with a children's book like when we were alone and again i'm going to sound like a broken record if you have the big questions get in touch with me and i would be happy to find the right books for your classroom Addressing reconciliation, addressing social justice and other big issues, we navigate those all the time with any, any curriculum and it's, it needs to be part of our everyday process. You know, so whether we're exploring um, pieces such as treaties, whether we're exploring pieces like the residential school, um, just really ensuring that it's embedded in our thought process, in our day, in our curriculum. And ultimately it does um, meet all of, those, all of those pieces, all of those parts of the pie. You know, if we're exploring stories in Africa, if we're exploring stories in um, Malawi, if we're ex exploring stories in the Navajo for Reservation down south, if we're exploring stories such as, you know, the Dakota Access Pipeline, you know, these are all common threads of social justice. Water, land, mineral rights, uh, even if we explore stories in the Amazon, you know, about uh, deforestation. It's very parallel to our experience in Alberta. You know, we have deforestation in northern Alberta and how that has impacted lands. Um, so looking at those commonalities, how can children navigate those stories and look in their own local context? How can they draw those parallels to the Amazon? How can they draw those universal messages in from Hawaii? How can they draw those messages in from New Zealand, you know, about what they experienced? And, and uh, teachers that are purposeful in presenting that information and allowing students to um, be inquirers, you know, to really take it up and make it their own. How do they navigate that information on their own and come to draw their own conclusions and how they can make the world better, how they can make their space better, how can they make their First Nation better, how can they make their small school better in Edmonton, Alberta, or Calgary, Alberta, or Fort McMurray, Alberta. How, how can they take up a social justice initiative within their own local context? Can you go down to the mustard seed? Can you take your class down there? What can you do? You know, can you go down to Boyle Street? Um, can you partner with some sort of agency 
Um, so really just making that local connection for uh, students and, and teachers who are their facilitators, their guides, their advocates to opening those doors.